Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dying. I'm IT Explosive One, and we're playing Madden 21. We're in a big AFC championship game against the Los Angeles Chargers. Durr, 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 we did it. We're going to defeat these horrible game players. Yeah. And their moms are horrible game players, too. <laughs> And their dads, they don't play games well either. Yeah. Your dad sucks at darts. Uh, <laughs> your dad can't only bowl 100. <laughs> That's my typical bowling score. I know, right? Me too. Yeah. I think I've only ever cracked 200 like once. I bowled a turkey in the last three frame, frames one time. It was it was like a crowning achievement of How my life. How was the rest of the game, though? Oh, awful. Absolutely awful. But I did get a turkey in the last three frames. Hey, I mean, at least there's that, right? Yeah, and you know, to make it even more, I was like, I remember I was at the bowling alley. This is such a bad story. I remember I was at the bowling alley, and I was like, yo, put Al Green on a jukebox. So my friend puts Al Green oh, on a jukebox. And back, it, back then, Al Green used to just, like, do it for me. Were right. you feeling fine? It was some ish my mom would listen to whatever, but um, loose all oh, turned around move when Al Green hit a high yeah. note thing and strike him. This dude just bowed a strike. I'm like, yep, I'm about to bow tour. So I'm just like feeling it. And I just like bowed it again, turned around, did the same move, add another high note, another one. And then they're like, no, everybody starts getting pumped. Oh my God. Al Green, man, hit the crescendo. It's the top of the peak of the song. Third strike. Everybody freaking jumped up. There was like popcorn flying and people in the next lane over came over. Right, and actually, rubbed you. actually, some people in the next lane started clapping for me. I was like, yeah, did you see the rest of the game? I'm like, I got a 182. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> I got a 182 here. Yeah, the funny part is though, like getting like a 200 is even pretty rare in bowling. Oh, if yeah. Not, if you're not like a like. Somebody who bowls all the time. Exactly, man. It's like, not an easy Because in order to get, like, even, like, over 150, you have to get, like, I think half the frames a strike. Spare. Yeah, strikes or spares. Yeah. Will bowl. You know what's a lost art? Keeping score. What do you mean, keeping score? In bowling, people you used to have to do it by hand. It's all keep score in bowling anymore. Like, if the machines went down, they had to do it manually. Like, no one would be able to do it. Huh. I wonder how many millennials know how to keep manual score in bowling. I would say very, very few. We but should ask a Good Bunny. And the thing is, is that that's a lost art, but like, so is remembering tel telephone numbers. So is bouncing your checkbook. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many lost arts that have been digitized because they've been digitized. You know what else is lost art? Print. Yeah, you know what else? Cursive. Really suck? Losing my phone because I would never know how to call anyone. I used to know all the phone numbers I had to, that were important to me. Oh, yeah. Like, I've been seeing the same girl for more than a year, and I don't know her phone number. Like, if I lost it, I'd be like, well, guess I'm never going to talk to her again. I, don't even, I could, look, man, there's seven digits in your phone number. I couldn't name one of them. Me? Yeah, I couldn't. It is the number five in your phone number. It, I, I, well, the, here's the thing about, well, and, and like, yeah, we've, we've been in the same place for a long time. I know your area code starts 216. That's the only thing I know. Did you just try to dox me live on camera? I mean, <laughs> Are you doxing it's, me right now? It could be anyone that, from the Cleveland. I area. give one number from yours. You give Mine's me my three three zero, dude. You give me my whole five. area code. I don't care if you want to dox yourself. I'm just giving you a hard time, but don't dox me, please. <laughs> I, will, I won't dox you. I appreciate. It. Yeah, I don't. You know, so it's like uh, that's like, but it's funny. Yeah, people don't know phone numbers anymore. It's like I don't know phone numbers. People don't know how to write in cursive or print. Yeah. Wait. Well, he, People Fine, sign bro. their name in cursive, but they don't teach cursive in school, so they just teach you how to sign your name, and you that's it? You don't have to sign your name in cursive. Isn't that what people do? Though? No, you just make a scribble on the paper, man. My, my signature has been a scribble since I was a child. Oh, yeah. Mine has definitely been a scribble. There's no time. reading my actual signature. It's just You just have to make it consistent. Right. And it, oh, it looks the same almost every time I sign it, but it doesn't say... Jonas. It's funny because I remember like in uh, old cartoons, uh, like Bugs Bunny would always sign with an X. 
So I actually started doing that for like a short period of time. Whenever I would like get a receipt from the cashier when I paid with like my debit card or in a store, most of the time I literally just go. I, it literally is a scribble. Like, yeah. Oh. Like yeah. Like if I have to do it at the bank or something, then yes, I sign the actual signature that I. Oh, well, see, and there you go. I, I definitely used to sign with an X. I do like the like the. Uh, or those little tablets that they put out, you stick your card in it, press the buttons, and then they're like, here, sign across this green oh, yeah, screen. Like, yeah, I used to just put an X there. Sometimes, like, that, that, that scribble would print on the receipt, and I would just, like, write a funny word. They'd be like, poop. <laughs> and then poop would be on the receipt. Really? <laughs> yeah. You're a child. <laughs> hey, dude, I gotta, gotta stay young at heart. <laughs> By putting poop on the receipt? <laughs> I have to return it. They're like, oh. They bring you a little bit of joy. You played a trick on yourself. Yeah, I got to return the thing. They're like, oh, I see Poop bought this. Is Poop here to return it? (laughs) Your name is now Poop, sir. (laughs) They're like, Mr. Poop. I'm like, stop it. I don't like that. And they're like. (laughs) They start bullying you. (laughs) (laughs) Shaming me for my name with Poop. (laughs) Mr. Poop. I like that. I like cashiers bullying people. Yeah, dude. Ever been bullied by a cashier? No. I I do remember oh man Ooh, angry story angry I remember I went to a Burger King and I went through the drive through and this this is a thing that I hate like I I swear I remember the the change when this started happening where you would order your food and then they tell you to pull up and park and then they would fudge and hate that I dude hate it beyond everything on because my they life. just do it for their own numbers that's the only reason. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand when this started, but I remember when it never happened, and then I remember when it started happening, and I was just like, I don't like this. Yeah, like, I used to work at Wendy's that had a drive through I know you worked at, like, Fast Food that didn't have a drive through We would occasionally have someone pull up. The only circumstance was, like... If you ordered a ton of stuff. Well, no, the thing that would happen is, like, they wanted, like, a grilled chicken sandwich, and we are like, we're out of grilled chicken. It's going to take 12 minutes to cook a chicken. Okay, Do you yeah, want one? You'll be like, hey, pull over to the spot. We'll bring it out. Yeah, that, or you want... you want yeah. Yeah, something like that would be the situation. Very rare. But yes, go ahead. I remember going to a Burger King. They asked me to pull up a pull up. I ordered like nuggets or something. I ordered like nuggets and poppers or whatever. Right. And then I'm waiting. Five minutes goes by. I'm waiting. Ten minutes goes 30 by. 30 people behind you went through the drive. Oh, yeah. There was at least another five people that are going by. Ten minutes. We're still waiting. 20 minutes goes by. I'm still waiting. 25 minutes. At this point, I'm late for work. But like, what do I do? Right. <laughs> so after 25 minutes goes by, I'm like, all right, fine. So I walk in and I'm like, uh, yeah, I ordered food and I've been waiting outside for it. These people had the audacity to not believe me. They're like, no, we gave you your food. I'm like, no, you didn't because I'd be eating it. <laughs> I would be late for work now. And then I'm, and then they're like, what did you order? And I'm like, I ordered this and this and this. And she's like, well, I don't remember that. Yo, <laughs> my Oh my God, Joe! I swear they try you. They try to bring it out in you, man. And you're like, they is, try. Is this your food? Is it come out of your paycheck? Because you gotta make it for me, like. Ooh. And see, Jonas, I'm not. I'm not the type of dude where I'm gonna call your manager and leave like a net write a, a strongly worded email and right, try right, to get right. you to lose your job. I'm gonna fight. You. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just keep it a buck. All right, I don't care who you are. I'm gonna fight you, little old lady. <laughs> she's like, come on, Dynamite. The only thing that kept her from not getting fought was the fact that it was a her. It was a her, and she obviously, you know, she works at Burger King, so, you know, she's already paying the cost that life has dealt her. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I was so mad, dude. I you know what so I hate mad. about waiting in the car? So mad! Is I think almost every time that that's happened to me, where they're like, hey, pull up. They forget something, and then you have to park the car, get up, go inside the restaurant after you've already waited forever, and you're like, you got to do curbside service, and you still forget my effing order, and i got to come in? Mm. Like, come on, bro. Get out of here. I've had them bring out the wrong stuff, and then I'm like, yo, this ain't the right order, and they're like, do you have your receipt? I'm like, do you have my food? <laughs> you're like, no, you didn't give me one. You said park up here 30 minutes ago. Nah, they gave me the receipt. At this point... 
I'm oh, freaking eating but it. But as soon as I get as soon as I get the receipt, Jones, that thing is dead. That thing, all receipts are dead to me. I'm not holding my receipts for tax purposes. No, oh, they're gone. Yeah. Receipts are the dead. The only receipts I really pay attention to is if I buy like an electronic that I may need it to return it or something if it breaks. Or, yeah, okay. It, there you that go. is what's in, other than that. Yeah, I'm more like what receipt? Yeah, I'm like sorry, I just handed it to you. Like I no, buy you a receipt for food. Guess what? As soon as I take a bite, that receipt is null and void. So what the frick does it matter? You know. Unless there's like a condom in my sandwich or oh something. Oh my god, dude! Every day. I my hate life. it when I find condoms in my sandwich, right? Man. I mean, the wrapped ones are okay. But yeah, like right. The, if I had a nickel for every time I had a condom on the in gently my sandwich, used, the gently used condoms in my sandwich. Dude, it's all right. It, like that's how they put the mayonnaise on the sandwiches. I heard. Well, that's disgusting. I mean, I I definitely opened the door. Yeah, for you, you did, to just dude. go you in. You talked about used condoms on a sandwich, man. <laughs> gently used. They could have been making anything that's gently used. They could have just been when born, it comes to rubbers. They could have just been blowing balloon animals with them. That's open, not used. That's gently used. I don't know. I would dude. think that fully used would be yes. They big old boom in it, dude. They prevented. The, Insemination with it, but gently use, you know, like you know, you blow it and put it over your head and like make, make put a, a fishbowl over your head. <laughs> I'm an astronaut. <laughs> I'm an astronaut. <laughs> Cosplay Bloods Lightyear. Yeah, yeah with, with a rubber good. over your nose. <laughs> <laughs> the bad part is that we all know that somebody's. Game. We've I can't all even seen play right now. Like, imagine like a kid with just like a con. My mom You've done it plus, before. Like, I've never put a condom over my head. You've ever. never put a condom over no. your head. No, because they have lube on them, dude. I don't want lube <laughs> you get on my the head. What's without that? How many? Who buys rubbers without lube? I mean, if you want to put it over your head, I you guess would, I've never <laughs> went and bought twelve dollar rubbers to no, put. Them. I mean, the ones that like the school used to give you and stuff. I don't know, dude. I never had. I never done it. The ones you just go to like Family Pan and grab out of the, 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 uh, the out of the fish bowl. out of the unlubed condom bowl. Yeah, man, Ew. it's like the community condom bowl. Yeah. It's just like a bunch of like dry. <laughs> bunch just of, add water. It's a bunch of dry ass condoms. They're not even in wrappers. You just like yeah. <laughs> they're not in wrappers. <laughs> they're, no. they're just rolled up. Come in plastic baggies. Yeah, dude. They're like, what? It saved money by not putting them in packaging. That's gross. They're unused. Trust us. I mean, Planned Parenthood. I mean, I mean, no. Don't trust anybody. These guys are trash, dude. They're in the AFC Championship. Yeah, I don't know how they made it. Touchdown. I don't know how they made it here. Oof! I don't know how you got I don't through know that. If that was a Madden thing. I saw a meme today that was like. It was like, EA, why does everybody boo our Madden presentation at E3? And they're like, because your game is glitchy and terrible. And they're like, no, it isn't. And then the, underneath it was just a gif of like a man walking into another man who was stuck on his knees and like he was like off the ground. It looked like he was humping him. And he was like, have they had any, uh, have they had any presentation for the new Madden? Uh, no. Have they learned their lesson yet? I mean, we're watching it. No. We're watching next year's Madden right now because they're going to put the same no. effing game out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's that. <laughs> I'm just wondering if they've learned their lesson at all because they've been getting a lot of bad press. I'm just wondering. Maybe if just like, one of these years, like it's well. Here's the problem: it's the only football game, it. so no. So like they're like, I'm sure they laugh all the way to the bank because they make tons of money off this game. They know it's garbage. They know it hasn't changed in forever. Yeah, but it, I mean, it's going to get to a point, right? You would think you that think. it would get to a point. I understand that they even have they even got a renewal on the license for uh for everything NFL too, but like it it's gonna come to a head eventually. Like people are already at some point they would be like we have this license because we want to make a good football game, not we have this license so no one else can make a football game. No, I mean, honestly. I feel like the latter is the way to think oh, about absolutely. it. Oh, absolutely. But I'm just saying it's like it, people have already it, – it went from people just eating ish to people being like, I don't want to eat your ish, to people being like, stop feeding me your ish, to people being like, I'm not going to take this ish, to people being like, F your ish. Let's let's drop a billion one-star reviews on this game. Yeah, so it's it's coming to a head where people are just like – they're not going to start. Well, what needs to it. happen is someone. It, there needs to be a year where the crowd unifies and just does not buy the game. I mean, you're a part of the problem. I do it for the channel, bro. Mm. Mm. 
do you do it for the channel? I do, or absolutely. Do you, do you for, do it for the love of the game? I used to do it for the love of the game, but like the last couple years, I haven't played this at all other than what we record for the channel. It's just, it's just, it's not fun. Wow. It's not, I mean, it's a fun game because it's football and I like football, but like, I used to just enjoy playing it and enjoy all the stuff. There's like, it's like, I've been playing the same game for like seven years. There's really not a whole lot of innovation they could do with a football game. I mean, I I feel like the the mutt mode is uh, it's something. That's what they focus on because now they get microtransactions. Yeah, and that's the problem with is that it just became a microtransaction game. Yeah, people want to play franchise and build a team over numerous seasons and get better and do the draft and move and you know it's like yeah just no and they don't up, they don't upgrade that. I think the mutt mode is good, but as soon as they just made it purely just monetary, it, oh, it's paid. It's a, a little, it's a little, yeah. That kind of takes away from it. I, I don't, I like the idea of like building up players and like building your team around. Yeah, guys you do like challenges whatever. to unlock better players, and the better you get, the more stuff you do, the more glass you get. But now you can just like you can drop a hundred real dollars and go in an auction and buy the guy, and you're like, well, so you're rich, so now you have a good team. I mean. That's how the real NFL works. I guess it's true. It? Yeah. <laughs> no, real. Yep. It's like an NFL simulator in real life. Yeah, it sure is. We <laughs> found the secret. They want you to feel like an NFL owner. If you're Mark Cuban, guess what? Hey, you get a good team. And you take Dogecoin at your stadium. The Browns need to take Doge. The Browns need to take good players. Yeah, they're actually they're actually not bad, I guess. Yeah, we'll the draft's see. next week. We'll so. see. We'll see. Yeah. But anyways, that's all the time we were today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that, hit that notification bell. Tell me when we do stuff. See you in the mother effing Super Bowl next week, bees. For Jonas. We are out.